Welcome to my YouTube channel. I was planning to join. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to do a rail in ArchiCAD. Let's say for you to do rail in ArchiCAD, just just go to design. Okay, I'm going to see the rail into here. So click on it and just click and drag it out. Let's like, drag it outside like this. Then click click again. Okay, go to the 3D view to check it out. So you have something like this. Okay. Let me try and make a slab. So let's say you have something like this here. Okay. Now railing can come can come in different kind of a form. Okay. You can you can use this kind of railing. You can go to the ground floor, and you can click on the railing. Click on the settings dialog. Click this star here. And you can change the kind of a panel you want. There are four or yeah, five different kind of panel for MakiCAD. You can use this frameless glass. You can use glass panel drilling. This is the one we're using. You can use this timber fence. You can use wire drilling. It depends on the choice you guys want. Let me use this frameless glass drilling. Click on OK. So what I did was that I double clicked on this one, on the one I want to use. So double click on it click OK and just click drag it out click click and go to the 3D view to check it out so you have this you have this kind of a frame here let's say you have a plan let's say you have a plan like this go to the 3D view to check what you've done okay now you have something like this okay now let's say you want to place a railing here as at this edge here what you want to do is click on the on the railing tool click on the settings dialog once you are cool with the particular one you want to use here you just um i'm gonna let me say i want to use this one click on okay okay and you can come to the 3d view to come and draw it or you can also hold down alt Click this edge here and click. Once that is done, automatically everywhere is going to have the ring on it. Okay, and don't worry yourself about this edge, it can be edited by the way you want. Okay, now uh, let me try and let me try and explain something about the railing. If you guys don't want don't like the way it looks or you want to do some machine editing, now let's say for this side that shoots out like this, you can click on it, click on edit. Click this edge here and click this edge here. That's this uh, particular one here and change this to be zero. Click enter. Now click this other one too. Hold on shift. Click this. Click this. Okay. Click this and change this one to be zero. Click enter. And you can do it for the other side too. This downside too. You can even click this node here and try to, and drag it inside to be zero. Click this and drag this inside to be zero okay now let's say we want to we want to change all of this so i want this now what we do is you can click this click on the settings dialog now click on the segment it's going to show you everything you need here you can click on this panel you can delete the panel okay you can remove the uh, you can remove the panel here or you can just click uh you can click minus okay i can also click add panel and click once it brings out this pencil click here like this okay once you click this panel you can come here and change it to be this built in panel double click on that and click on ok so you have something like this if you don't want the space in between there's this space here you can just you can always click on the settings dialog as also click on the railing now come here at this panel here, come here and change this one to be zero and change this one to be zero. Now click on OK. As you're gonna see the panels, they are all together. If you don't want the handrail to be iron, you can click on the settings dialog, click this, and you can always come here and change a lot of things here. You can change the post, you can change the the top rail. All you have to do is when you click on segment, if you don't want this, let's say I don't want this right now to change this, click on this. You can come and click on this style and dimensions you can come to fixing you can 
give it any kind of a design you can change come here come and change the color of the rear here as you can see since it's st still stainless you can come here and change it to be maybe timber plywood any one you guys want to use okay so uh for the purpose of this drawing i'm going to be using something like this okay now click on ok as this down one here it's going to change now so when you check it out you're going to see that this is wood okay click the reading click the settings dialog and i'm going to change you can also change this one to be this one click on ok so you can literally change it to be any kind of a design you want okay so I'm going to click on the settings dialog and change this other one to, to look like it. So uh, you can also increase this one here. Click the real component settings. Now come here, come here and change this. That's this side here, and change this to be 150. And if you check here, you're going to see this place already. This place increases. So click on OK, and you should have something like this. So click on it again. Click on the settings dialog. Come here and change this one to be 50. I click on OK. So it's going to go up. Alright. So you have something like this. Now you can also change uh, the the hand rail to also look the same. So what you do is click on the railing. Click the settings dialog. Click this railing here. This hand rail here. Click on the hand rail settings. Click this. And I come and change it to be, uh, let's say this one. Okay, I like to load and click on the Android component settings, and you can change, you can model it to be maybe iron on whatever design you want to use. So click on OK, and it's going just going to be wood. It's going to change to be wood. Okay. Now once you have something like this, you can also change the top bar by clicking on the stair on the sorry not on the stair on the Android. Click on the settings dialog. Now the top wheel, you can come and change it to be any kind of a design here. You can use this, okay? You can come here and change it to be this plywood, depending on on the the kind of a design you want to present. You can come here and model it, okay? You can come here and model this the way you want it to be. So click on OK, and that upper part should change too. So you have something like this. Click on this again. Click on the settings dialog. I remember remember everything you're actually doing can be edited with how you want it to look like okay now if you look at this middle one here let me click on the segment this middle one here this inner post you can click here and look for the kind of inner post you want to use you can use this you can use this uh, you can use this so let me click on this I'm gonna double click on that and uh, click on ok as you can see you have something like this so these are one of the ways you can use to edit your reeling to look exactly how you want it to be in Archicad as you can see it kind of looks better and nice unlike this ones you're seeing here okay let me go to the ground floor let me try and draw something again like this Okay, let's go to the 3D aspect to check it out. And uh, this should be it. Okay, okay. Let's say you want to add the railing now. Let's say you want to add the railing in 3D. So click on the railing, click that edge there, drag it like this. Okay, click this point here and click that point there. Then click again. Now you're going to be having something like this. Okay. So let's say you like this design and you want to make this design to be on this particular on this particular railing. Hold down Alt, click this, press Ctrl, Alt, then click this. Automatically it gives you what this one looks like. Okay. So this is one of the easiest way you can use to do that. As you can see, it brings it makes the building look okay. And there are other railings, there are other settings. You guys should just check it out and mess around with it or mess around with it so you guys can get 
what you want in archicad it looks it's something like this but in this in this case i used let me show you guys what i used here in the uh, inner post this is what i used i used this particular one here this is the one we're using in the other uh archicad then this one was this was the one i used this cast iron post 21 so you guys can come and mess around with the kind of ways if you guys even want the if you want the glass if you want the glass to reach the ground here yeah, you guys can make it to look like that just by messing around in the settings just always go to the click on the reading click on the settings dialog here yeah. you can always come around and mess around with it here yeah. okay even the ends this end here yeah, you can come here that's what i mean by hand means click on this reading click on the settings dialog if you if i click on end here yeah, i can make the end of the top rail to be this okay you can come here and edit it the way you want it to be or to be curved inside okay if you click on okay this is going to be curved now as you can see this is curved to this other side here yeah. you can do the same thing for the android too okay so click by clicking on the railing click on the settings dialog you can come here change this to be android one okay you can come actually to be this or this okay or this if you want it to be this you can change this one to be that's from year to year as you can see you can make it to be let's say 100 okay and you can make this extension here you can make it to be 205 and click on okay so it's gonna change it it's gonna, it's gonna change like this okay let me look at this properly yeah it's gonna have something like this okay so everything on the reeling is actually being edited to your you can edit it to your own taste okay and let me guys show you let me explain something that's very also that's also important i'm gonna delete this again and i'm gonna do it again so click on the reeling tool so let's see on the ground floor and you want to draw the reeling click on the reeling click this from this point here and once once you want to drag you're gonna see that the ring the ring is actually outside of the drawing of the slab so you want it to be inside so click this and click this other side here click this uh third side click it and it's going to be inside the slab okay let's say you guys have uh, a step okay let's say you have a step like this okay and you want to do the reeling all you just have to do is click on the reeling hold down space bar on your down space bar come to this edge here then click once you click it automatically puts the reeling on the stair okay automatically put the reeling on the stair you can also come to this other side hold down alt select this hold down space bar and select this other edge and it's going to have that same thing okay now as you can see the reeling is actually on the other side instead of, instead of it to be inside like this it's actually on the other side so you want to what you want to do is click the railing click this one here and change it to be this other side so it's going to be inside the stair so you just have something like this and if you guys look at the if you look at the the hand rail the hand rail of this one is actually outside instead of it to be inside like this so what you want to do is click on the on the railing click on the settings dialog now look for the Android here. Click on the Android. Now click click on the Android settings. Now change this to be this one. Sorry, to be this one here. Click on it and click on OK. So it's going to be inside the stair. Okay. So here you go. And you just walk up to this other side here. Now, irrespective of how the how your step looks like, no matter how it looks like, let me draw on that kind of a stair. Okay, let's say you have something like this now. Go to the 3D view to check it out. You can always go to your railing, click on the railing, hold down Alt, click that point there, then click. And you're gonna have something like this, as you can see something beautiful like this okay let's say i want to 
you change the color of the Android. Okay, what you want to do now is so I'm going to automatically do it for all of the Androids by holding down shift. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hold down shift, click on this, hold down shift, click on this, hold down shift, click on this too. So I can change the, the Androids automatically, their colors automatically. Now click on the settings dialog. Now click on the Android. Click on this Android component settings here. Now click on style and dimension. Now scroll down to 3D representation. Now tick override real surface and tick override fixing surface. Okay. Click this. I can change it to any kind of color you want here. You can click. I'm going to click uh, paint lead oxide yellow. And I'm going to for the fixing. I can change the color to be maybe this kind of this paint blue color here. Click on OK and uh, click on it and click on OK here and wait for it to load. As you can see, if you check it out properly, you're going to see that the fixing is color blue and the Android is color yellow. Okay. Now, if you want to change the top rail, you can also do that too. So, hold on shift, click this, click the railing, click this also. Click this also, click this, click on the settings dialog. Now click on the top rail. So click this uh, under top rail component settings. Click this style and dimensions and click on 3D representation. Now click on override rail surface and override fixing surface. Scroll down, click on this color here. And I can change it to be, uh, let's, let me give you blue. And click on the fixing. Let's change the let's change the fixing to be color yellow here. And click on OK. And automatically it's gonna change it. It's gonna change the railings for you. So be the kind of color you want. Okay. And now we have something like this. Okay. Let's check it very properly. I'm gonna say that the 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 fixing is color yellow. Okay. And the rail, and the top rail is color blue. Now these are the ways you can use to do this in Archicad. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. If my video has been of any help to you, kindly subscribe, comment, and like. And I will see you in my last several videos. Thank you.